Good morning, church. Jake and I are going to bring to you the devotional for this morning. Yeah, we're all ready. So it's Monday morning, and we are ready to check this out. Yesterday in church, we were talking about kindness. And really, you're bailing on me right in the middle of this. All right, apparently I'm on my own. We were talking about kindness, and uh, I wanted to read to you two scriptures on kindness. And the first is not about us being kind, but about how God has been kind to us. It's found in Titus 3, 4. Jot that down real quick. Titus 3, 4. You can look it up on your own. It says, but when the kindness and love of God our Savior appeared, he saved us, not because of righteous things we had done, but because of his mercy. This morning, before we go on to read the next one, let's just pause. And I want you to just Thank God for his kindness. I mean, how has he been kind to you? Not just in Jesus and giving his son, because by the way, that's the greatest thing he could ever do for us, right? But how else has God expressed his kindness and generosity to you? And then the second scripture is Colossians 3.12. And it's about our kindness. It says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And so yesterday I invited you, go have some fun with kindness because kindness can be terrific. I mean, it can be really, really fun. And so go have fun with it this week. And you might think, I'm gonna wait for the opportunity to arise. But you know what, right now, maybe God's already brought someone to mind that you could show kindness to. Saturday morning, somebody came by our house, Donna from our church. She stopped and brought these cookies, the little shortbread cookies to our house. I mean, I didn't know she was coming. She just stopped in and dropped them off. They're shortbread cookies with cranberries and oranges in them. They're unbelievably good. A simple act of kindness. Right before I uh, started filming this, my wife came home with three Costco pizzas. I'm like, how am I supposed to eat three Costco pizzas? She's like, "Uh, you can eat that one or at least part of one. I don't need a whole Costco pizza. She goes, these other two. She goes, I got to go run an errand and take these to a, a family. I just wanted to take care of them tonight and bring them dinner. It's an act of kindness. And literally right before I started filming this, I got a text on my phone from our head of Women of Wonder, the women's ministry of our church, asking when we do this book distribution next week, we're going to give away these these life journals and we're going to allow you guys to have these and we want all of our church. That's more to come next week. But she said, when we do that, since it's Mother's Day, can can we give these away with a little gift to all the moms? I'm like, you're asking me for permission to do an act of kindness and give a gift to someone. Heck yeah, you can do that. And so it's one of the things I love about our church is there's acts of kindness going on all the time. It's part of the culture. It's a part of the DNA of our church because I think it's a part of the DNA of who Jesus is. Acts of kindness, go have fun with it today, showing kindness to people. God bless you. Happy Monday.